Hi, my friends. So today we are going to read a book called Ordinary Love, Finding Extraordinary in the Ordinary. And it is written by Morgan Barber. And these illustrations are so beautiful. I hope you like it. In the land of the ordinary, where the days are mostly sunny, lives a woman so loving, many might think she's quite funny. What is love, you may wonder? Let's think this through. Love is selfless and kind. It is faithful and true. It is not as easy as some say, just an emotion. Oh, love can be bigger, vaster than the ocean. What color is that ocean? So pretty. This woman we've mentioned, quite amazingly so, is beautiful because of the people she knows. Each person is different, but connecting them all is something on the inside, albeit quite small. This is something refers to how they were formed in the image of their creator, each uniquely adorned. She saw that they mattered and had great value too, because all life is precious, she could start with those she knew. And who does she know? Can you see who she knows in there? Are those her kids? Some needed a hand, food, or clothing, you see, and she thought to herself, could the answer be me? These needs seemed too great, like lifting a ton. She couldn't change the whole world, but she could start with just one. With her sons by her side and their neighbors' needs in sight, off they went and her ideas quickly took flight. Go to the least, go to the few, go where most others might even say, P.U. They taught English to some and tutored a few. They handed out blankets and warm soup to a crew. One need being met turned into another, and soon they were surrounded by a community of others. All people matter no matter their size or the shape of their nose or the color of their eyes. We all need a hand to hold some of the time. Maybe that hand could turn out to be mine. The love of this woman continues today because she chose to give her life away. see this right here, this is the sign language for love. L-O-V-E. -E. It is said of love that it is patient and kind, enduring through all obstacles with heart, soul, and mind. So open your eyes and see needs all around. What makes us lovely or stunning? Well, I think we have found love serves openly with hands and hearts to abound.
This may seem ordinary, but that's not quite true. In fact, these extraordinary things can be found inside of you. the end my friend i hope you enjoyed that book i certainly enjoyed reading it to you you can find it here at the hollis social library ordinary love